Hello there, Scorpio. How are my Scorpios doing? This is going to be your reading for June 16th through June 30th. And thank you so much for all the likes and subscribes and comments. I love how active you guys are on the videos. It makes me so happy. Um, and also thank you for all the personal readings, the energy sessions, and the instant go um, contacts. You guys are definitely keeping me busy and I'm loving it. So if you would like a personal reading, the link is below. It's going to take you to my website with the different options. So I do kind of have something uh, there for everyone, depending on what you're looking for. Also, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance therapy. So that means it doesn't matter where you are located. My clients are all over the US, Canada, even as far as Europe. So um, the distance between us doesn't make any difference. Uh, the link uh, is below for my website. So you can read about it, check out the testimonials. I have a really wonderful 15% off for first time clients that you can take advantage of. And right now is such a powerful time to be getting energy work done, whether it's by me or somebody else, um, because of all the shifts and changes that we're going through at the moment. And we're just about a month away from eclipse season as well. So the more you can do now to align your energy and be centered and balanced and clear out what you don't need, the easier eclipse season is going to be for you. So again, take advantage of the 15% off that I have for first time clients. Um, you can also find me on instant go, which is a really fast way to send a message and get a reply. I typically can get back to instant goes pretty quickly. So um, the link is below for that as well. So I think that's it for shop talk. Let's get into the reading. This is, again, your reading for June 16th through June 30th. And we're building to a Capricorn full moon at the end of the month, around the 27th and 28th, depending on where you're living. So I know my last reading for you guys, holy moly, were you finally coming into your power and, like, growing and, and just really letting go and moving forward from all the growth and challenges that Scorpios have had. So I'm curious to see what the cards have for you today. <laughs> there you are. You're ready to come out already. So we'll just bring you on out. I guess that's fine. <laughs> the Scorpios. Okay, beautiful. So the first card out was you guys. Here you are. Dun, dun, dun. I feel like this is kind of reconfirming that you are really solid in who you are right now. You've gone through the work, your rebirth, your death, your cycle, whatever it is um, that you've been going through over the last few weeks and few months, and you're here. Okay, so I love that. Uh, the first card out is the Ace of Swords. So this is complete clarity. So if there's something that you've been avoiding or not dealing with because you've been so focused on yourself, I feel like the Ace of Swords is gonna come through and just like cut through any BS, bring complete clarity to you. It's gonna be like an aha moment. I'm kind of feeling like this is gonna have to do with love or like a partner that you, a partner that you have been dealing with but have kind of not had much contact lately. And I'm feeling because you've been so focused on you, but I think that person is still on your mind and I think the Ace of Swords is gonna come in and you're gonna get complete clarity around this person for you. I don't know why I'm feeling that. Um, it could be an air sign or someone with a lot of air in their chart. And then we've got the four of coins. So yes, you're going to get this clarity that's going to come in. And with the clarity, it's going to have you kind of take a full look at yourself and everything that you have and kind of um, evaluate where you are. And if you're willing and ready to give to a partner in a relationship, 
So I'm not feeling like this is, um, no, that's not what I wanted to say. I feel like this card is you like preparing for love for some reason, even though it's a coin card. Um, but I just feel like this person has been working so much on everything they have and they just want to like hold it tight and protect it. But I think once you get the clarity of this partner, you're going to be ready to be more generous. Yeah. So I think this is just you right now um, and where you've been actually for a little while is holding on. You haven't really been giving much to others for a little, for quite a while, which again, there's nothing wrong with that. You Scorpios, I feel like you really needed this time with yourself and to be a little bit selfish and focus on you and grow. Um, and then I've got the queen of coins here. So I feel like this is the person that you are getting clarity on. So it could be an earth sign or somebody with earth in their chart or someone who's just really grounded in general and pretty solid in who they are. So I think the clarity that's coming in is about you and this person. So I feel like if you are cross watching for a Scorpio, I feel like I just want to let you know, like you're still on their mind and they still think about you, even though there's been no action and really no contact, um, which I think they've really needed to help them get the clarity. I do feel like the clarity is coming in for them. So once the clarity comes in, I'm curious, Scorpio, what are you going to do with it? <laughs> what are you going to do with this wonderful clarity? Okay, so once the clarity comes in, then it's like decision-making time. <laughs> I feel like you're going to question whether or not the relationship is going to make you wobbly or take you out of this really solid place that you're in right now. So I feel like no, the relationship will not make you wobbly if it's the right partner. So I think you've got a lot of coins going on here. So maybe you feel that a relationship like takes you out of balance from work and you don't know how to like give fully to work and give fully to a relationship. So um, I, I don't feel a lot of heavy, any heaviness on this card. I just think it's something to be aware of Scorpio that you are going to need to make a decision if you do want someone in your life. I mean, if you choose to just be all work all the time, that's totally fine. You have every right to choose that. But if you aren't fully fulfilled and you feel like something's missing, then that's where you just have to look at how you can balance it. And it might just be that you choose the right partner, you know. Scorpios, I feel like you need a partner who's pretty independent and is okay with giving you space when you need it and that doesn't throw them off off of who they are they just stay solid and independent and do their thing and they still love you even when you guys have space between you um, that may not work for everybody and again this is a general reading but with the queen of coins and the nine of coins I feel like if this is one person this is a pretty independent self-sufficient person so Scorpio, if you are in a partnership or want a partnership, I think this type of partner is actually a really healthy match for you because it's like you can deeply, deeply love them and they will remain solid in who they are and it won't make you feel like you're going to lose balance. So part of me feels like this clarity coming in, it's like you know that you can have that, but you still are a little bit afraid and you still are a little bit, I was going to say defensive, but no, I'm feeling more fear. You know, it's like you're, you're a little bit looking in the past of like maybe when you've tried this in the past, you know, with a partner or a relationship and you got burned or it didn't work out and you ended up heartbroken. So... 
I do feel like that's still a little bit there for you, a little bit of pain and hurt from the past. But with the Ace of Swords, it's like you're getting really clear on all of this. So up until this point, you may not have realized that you're being defensive and a little afraid because of your past. You may not have been ready to see it yet. You know, and having such a solid um, partner could have you feeling a little bit insecure in a way. I'm, I'm not sure why I'm feeling that, but let me see what else we've got for you. Yeah, okay, so I feel like here you are, Scorpio, as the king of swords, you're trying to make this like a logical decision. So you're trying to really keep your emotions out of it and you're trying to be clear and does this make sense and is this what I want versus being in your heart space energy. So, you know, the king of swords is a pretty serious dude or character. Again, this can be male or female. It goes either way. Um, but he also knows what he wants. So the King of Swords like knows what he wants. So if I'm looking at this and this is the two, this could make a really powerful team. The only thing that I'm going to say is to make sure there's an emotional connection and that you both are going to open up emotionally because Queen of Coins is a little bit unemotional and the King of Swords is unemotional. So this can be like a solid, powerful team that makes sense and it's very logical and you both want the same things long term, but make sure that that deep inner love is there. Yeah, because um, next we've got the Hierophant, which is the marriage card. So it's either a marriage card or just representing that the two of you have the same values, you have the same long-term goals and visions, you want the same things out of life, which is what I kind of just said. And it's really guided by the universe. You know, the Hierophant is a, a pretty um, divinely guided card and energy. So if it is going to bring you two together in marriage, I think that's beautiful. I do, I have felt all along through all these readings that this partner is good for you. If you've both grown and you've both come to a place where you're ready to really move forward in something real. And I feel like you are ready. So we've got the Fool card. So I love this. You're starting with the Ace of Swords, which is like complete clarity, finally coming through and you're accepting and facing maybe what you couldn't see before, what you weren't willing to deal with. Deciding whether or not you can balance love and work, and I think you want to. And then, like, you're showing up ready to make a commitment almost. Like, you're ready to bring yourself forward and be real. Like, this is what I want. This is where I want us to move towards. And you're ready to go on this adventure. And take a leap of faith which is awesome. Take a leap of faith, you know, trust the process, trust the process. And with this Capricorn full moon coming towards, you know, the 27th or the 28th, you know, I kind of feel like this could represent the moon up here in a way, like you're leaving behind, you know, the fear, you're leaving behind the fear and feeling like it's going to make you wobbly and you're kind of like, you know what? I'm ready for this. This is what I want. I'm ready to go all in, which is so, so beautiful because if this is, if this is where you guys are going, I mean, this is legit. This is a very legit, sorry, that's what I meant to do. No, <laughs> trying to do it backwards. I want the higher font in the middle. There we go. This is like what you guys want. 
this is a long term, like serious partnership that you can really build a life with, like a true team. So Scorpio, I love this. You guys have gone through the work. You still have a little tail end of, you know, what you're cleaning up and getting clear on. If you're cross watching for a Scorpio, if once they get clear on this, they will come to you. So I think it's important to give them the space that they need right now, as hard as it is. Really just focus on yourself and how you can grow and be a stronger, solid individual in this time that you guys are apart. Um, yeah, I'm feeling that strongly, but the re I feel the reason all of this has been such push-pull energy for the last few months is because it really is coming down to a serious decision about a lifetime partner or marriage. Um which is why it's been kind of a big deal. And I have felt that all along. So let me just see if there's any last message. <laughs> yes, it is. I would have to agree. Miracles is the last message coming through. So maybe this is for the cross watcher that you felt it was going to take a freaking miracle for them to grow up and pull through <laughs> and come back to you. So that could be it. Or just in the miracle that things are always happening for us, not to us. And everything is a process for a reason. The universe is working very, very hard always to support us. For our highest and best interest so trust it let the miracles come through continue to be strong and independent within yourself Scorpios continue to you know do the work and face yourself and you know you're here you showed up in your own reading because that's how present you are I feel like you're really really in touch with yourself right now and the growth and wanting to make changes of things that have not been working in your life so Beautiful reading. You'll have to leave me comments. I'm not able to respond to the comments, but I definitely read them all and I, I love I love reading them. And if you want a personal reading that's going to go deeper into your specific situation, um, the link is below. I would love to do that for you. And if not, I will see you for the July readings. All right, Scorpio, take care. Bye.